It's recording, just... Come back to what they did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how you do it. What's up? What's Okay. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. Don't worry. Hey, you got it. I mean, church. E5 church. <laughs> we drink alcohol here. It's part of ceremony. <laughs> Now, it seemed to be a universal rule for black folk, and apparently at the root of black folk. When black folk give you something to eat, you eat it all, okay? So they gave me food, I had to eat it all, okay? Eat all of it or else, and drink all of it or else. <laughs> no problem. No problem at all.
look, I'm hot. I ain't gonna lie. All right? They ain't gonna kill me out here. They not gonna kill me in E5 Church. All right? I'm hot. Now, I'm about to sweat through my whole suit. They, they just gonna keep on dancing. I, I, look, I had to bow out. I had to bow out. I had to bow out. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit here and drink my holy beer, okay? That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do, that's what I'm gonna do. Mm. E5 church is like, I'm only calling it church because y'all know what church means. It's like Black Baptist Church minus Jesus and add alcoholic beverages and food. And you don't pass the basket around to give to some pastor. You pretty much give money to the other people in the group. Everybody pass around the same narrow to each other, spreading all the money to each other. So that's what I like about this. When you donate in an Ifa ceremony, African ceremony in Nigeria, you're literally giving money to the people, not to some pastor so he can go buy a Rolls Royce and a mansion. All donations, all, 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 all givings is to the actual people. Ain't no pastor here collecting dough. Ain't no pastor here taking advantage of the people. There is a leader of Ifa. He ain't collected one there yet. Matter of fact, he gave me some there. He gave me there. Huh. That's the difference. That's what I noticed. All right, look here. I'm done. I changed my clothes and everything. Look, that was the best service I've been to. That was the best service i ever been to. Look. Y'all don't know what y'all missing. Y'all know how black folks worship differently no matter what we practice compared to everybody else? The thing that we do that's different from what everybody else do, it's black culture. Ifa is not a religion, so to speak. It's a culture. We are culturally spiritual. That's what I'm figuring out. Culturally spiritual. Everything about that Ifa, uh, Ifa uh, service basically remind me of what you experience when you're in African American circles in churches. All the women remind me of the African American singing in the choir. All the men remind me of the, the men in the church. Everything remind me of what we do. It's just that we forgot that we hid our spiritual traditions, our culture within Christianity because we didn't want the slave masters to beat us or kill us while we were doing it. We forgot that's what we were doing, right? But now, now that I've been, I've been inundated with the root juice of African culture, I now recognize everything that we do as far as uh, Christianity, everything we do as far as even Islam, and whatever we do, right, the, the difference between us and everybody else is we still practice knowingly and unknowingly African culture. I'm telling you, like, you got to be there to, to experience it. It was amazing. We don't need nothing but African culture. We don't need nothing but African culture. We pray all day long. That's African culture. That's African culture, not a religion. When we pray, that's African culture, all right? Everything that you see that we do naturally is African culture has been emulated by religion. Let me say that one more time because I know people are talking and everything. Everything that we do as African culture, that's our culture, our actual culture, not religion, culture has been emulated by Christianity and we still practice that. We, it's in our DNA, we can't help it. So I hope you enjoyed the video, uh, got a little bit of insight. You normally don't see, I see why 
why the Latinos practice sangria, you know, in in South America and Brazil, why they practice Ifa. And, and I see, I also see why it was so easy for them to bring Christianity to us. Because they took what we had, repackaged it, made it in their image, gave it back to us, and we just thought it was what... It was our culture. It was so easy to slide to Christianity because Christianity emulates African culture. But the names, the Bible was inserted, the names, European perspective and propaganda was inserted to ruin what was already pure, was already spiritual, was already connected to God. Another thing, uh, we sacrificed a goat today. And let me tell you something about sacrifice because, you know, Christians like to call it devil worship, demons and stuff like that. You know what you do when you sacrifice an animal? Right? Compared to Christianity. In Christianity, you cook your meal, then you pray over it after you already done killed it and prepared it. In African tradition, you pray over it before you kill it. So basically, you're just praying over it. Then you dispatch the animal. You give some sacrifice to your deities, to your God, which is really your ancestors, right? You, you, you're giving libation to your ancestors because your ancestors connect you to God. Right, our ancestors connect us to God. The ones that came before us are the closest to God. So when you you don't worship your ancestors, you call on your ancestors in order to connect to the one true God. Right, that's what it is. The God that goes by many names. Keep in mind, goes by many names, right? So and then when you dispatch the animal in the sacrifice, then you cook it and you distribute it amongst the the group. Right, so it doesn't go to waste. There's nothing devilish about it. Is natural African culture that's been that's been skewed right by Christianity and to be called devil worship, right? But Christianity calls everything devil worship. That's not Christianity. So they even call it science devil worship. They call it science devil worship. They used to burn people for being intelligent. Think about that. That's what Christianity has done, right? But we don't need none of that. We don't need none of that. All right. We don't need. We all we need is our culture, and that's all the spirituality we need. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the videos. Afro Think Tank, learn some teaching. I'm out.